Hey guys, we've got two HP laptops here with us today. The one on the right has a privacy display, as you can see, and the one on the left is a standard for HD IPS screen. We're just going to hopefully give you a better idea what the privacy screen, how it works, um, and what the pros and cons might be. Um, the first thing you'll notice is just how bright the privacy screen on the right is, and the color really pops um, if you're looking at it direct. Um, if you do, however, look at it from a different angle, you'll notice that you lose some of the um, brightness and some of the color consistency on the um, privacy model, much more than the standard IPS. The standard IPS has a wider viewing angle um, across the um, across vertically. Um, if you were to need that. What we do probably find is that the standard screen will be used by m many more people who anything from photography, um, um, photo editing um, to putting stuff on YouTube, whereas the panel on the right has more specific application, which is if you need more um, confidentiality when you're moving. If we move on to a different background, you can just see the 700 nit privacy screen is just so much brighter than the standard for HD. IPS screen. Um, that's partly because when you switch on the privacy filter, uh, the brightness almost halves. So that's one of the side effects, I guess. And if we switch back to the full brightness, you'll also notice perhaps on the edge of the display there's very slight inconsistent color, so essentially um, brighter, it's almost like backlight um, leak on the side. Um, there's nothing we can do on this. It's, you can imagine if there's one extra layer of material between the screens, um, this can probably happen. Again, the Full HD IPS screen is more consistent in color. Not as bright, but more consistent. Um, on the red, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's, it really pops. Um, but the problem is, if you tilt it sideways, you'll notice that actually the side, um, anything but the center, has a different brightness almost. Um, same story for the um, um, standard for HD version. Same for green as well. Um, another thing we'll notice is if we go into um, color gradient, you'll notice that the color gradient is much less refined on the privacy model. Um, perhaps something to do with having one extra layer of material in between. But obviously you get the privacy setting, which is when you look from the side you just can't see as much um, if you are sitting on the train, for, in for instance, working on Excel sheet, um, switch it on, and people from the side shouldn't be able to see um, what's on the display. Privacy filter, it's a bit like a polarizing filter. It doesn't work vertically, so if we were to do that and switch it on, you can still see the same content. Um, the color will just distort a lot more. Let's take a look at a standard website, if we can. Hopefully it's um, we're connected to the internet. So what we'll do is um, just pop onto the top of the verge. Um, what you'll notice is that the privacy screen um, is, um, if we switch it off, um, without the privacy screen, it's much brighter. But um, as soon as you start tilting the screen, you lose color um, vibrance and you lose color consistency, which might be a problem, might not be a problem. Also, some of you, if you have glasses, we definitely do recommend for you to take a look at one of these laptops in person. Um, because that could potentially um, be um, not as comfortable as you like, or maybe it would just work just fine. Um, what you'll certainly be used to is the traditional display anyway. Um, one of the other thing to notice is, um, this is probably something we should have mentioned first, we'll go to um, the noon tag. Um, if you, from my angle, I'm not sure if you can see this, but look between the color here. On the privacy screen, partly thanks to brightness and also partly thanks to the 72% color gamut, it's, um, the color is a little bit more vibrant. Um, obviously, the same criticism is in place if you start tilting it, you lose that um, uh, color purity, well, color consistency um, more quickly um, than the IPS panel. So, I mean, IPS is a really good technology, whereas the um, HP SureView is probably in its earlier implementations. So there's, it's not the perfect implementation. Um, from the side, if we, um, if my colleague <laughs> could perhaps um, tilt it, I'll just tilt the screen for my colleague and see if we can hopefully um, switch on the privacy filter for use.
switch down now, um, as you can see from the side, from certain angle, you'll see a lot less. Um, if we just tilt it, actually switch it back on. Well, this is off the previous filter. Switch the filter on, and as you can see. So I mean, ultimately, whether you go for the um, whether you go for the previous filter or not, just um, keep in mind to summarize. So for HD IPS screen, HP does have a 400 nit one. Um, it's quite bright, 72% color gamut, same as the um, privacy model. So you wouldn't necessarily lose anything with the top end IPS panel. Um, whereas inherently with the privacy panel, um, even without switching on the privacy filter, you lose some color consistency when you use the display. Uh, color grading is not necessarily as good. There's some backlight, some inconsistencies again. So it's it's really good technology. Um, it's um, it's basically if you do need privacy, then that's what um, that's what offers it. Um, but I think for everybody else, the Full HD IPS is a really good um, starter. And um, that's all we have time today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, give us a subscribe if you have time. Thank you. That'd be really appreciated. Thanks.